Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Joe Joyce defeats Carlos Takam by a sick round stoppage. Now first and foremost, this was actually a really fun fight while it lasted. There were some good exchanges, some good punches landed by both men, and you know, both guys in this fight were taking the initiative and looking for the stoppage, and it made for a really good fight. Um, first couple of rounds, I felt Carlos Takam started really well, and I think that was because of a style in which Joe Joyce deployed in this fight. He fought this fight in a, a, like a very aggressive fashion, similar to how he used to fight in the amateurs. He wasn't boxing from distance as much in this fight like he was in the Dubois fight. It was basically all-out aggression from Joe Joyce, and he was trying to walk Carlos Takam down. He was throwing the jab, throwing the right hand behind it, but he really wasn't committing to these shots early on in this fight. And Carlos Takam was able to time Joe Joyce with great regularity with his overhand right. He was walking Joe Joyce into that shot, and they was connecting flush on several occasions. And um, yeah, to me, in the first couple of rounds, Carlos Takam definitely landed the better shots. Overhand rights to the head. He was also doing a good job of uh, working Joe Joyce's body, you know? So yeah, I felt Carlos Takam started this fight really well, and I felt he got the better of Joe Joyce in the first couple of rounds. Joyce was still landing his shots here and there. He was landing that sort of clubbing jab. Uh, the right hand on occasion as well, but for me in the first couple of rounds, Carlos Takam's work was more effective. Joe Joyce came back though and upped the pressure in the third round. He was starting to uh, commit to his punches a little bit more, and, and he was sitting on those shots, and also he returned the favour and was working Carlos Takam's body in the third round, and that would pay dividends later on in the fight. And yeah, that was a good adjustment by Joe Joyce. He started to work the body of Carlos Takam. He was also trying to throw his jab uh, from his hip in instead of throwing it from his guard. So Joe Joyce was trying to change things up in the third round. And he, d and he definitely had a better third round. Um, Carlos Takam was still able to time him with the overhand right. He, he was still catching Joe Joyce, but Carlos Takam's volume dropped in the third round. And Joe Joyce's pressure and his body work was more effective. So yeah, round uh, round three, I had uh, Joe Joyce winning that round. Round four, though, was a competitive round. Some good exchanges. Joyce landing his body shots and some right hands to the head. And uh, Carlos Takam himself. Some good hooks to the body and uh, the overhand right to the head, of course, was landing. He also uh, Carlos Takam also landed a really good four-punch combination in the fourth round. And um, yeah, I felt Carlos Takam won the fourth round, to be honest. Competitive round, good exchanges, but I felt the better work came from Carlos Takam. Round five was a lot more circumspect, and at this point, you could tell that Carlos Takam was slowing down. His legs looked a lot more heavy, and uh, he wasn't throwing with the same regularity as he was previously in the fight. He was starting to gas out, and I think... I, I think partly that was down to uh, Joe Joyce's bodywork. But round five was much more circumspect from both men, but I felt Joe Joyce's work was more effective. He was kind of keeping Takam at range a little bit more, and I, I felt he was the busier fighter in the fifth round. So after five rounds, I had Carlos Takam 3-2 up on my scorecard. But in round six, the fight was ended. Uh, Carlos Takam came out and he walked onto a little short left hook by Joe Joyce. And he was buzzed by that shot, gave it, uh, gave him wobbly legs. And after that, a barrage of punches from Joe Joyce uh, came. He was pressuring Takam. He was landing a lot of shots to body and head. Carlos Takam really wasn't throwing back. He was trying to defend himself, but he was, um, he, he was getting caught by a lot of clubbing shots, and um, he was throwing no punches back. So eventually, the referee jumped in to wave it off. Now. I've seen on social media a lot of people complaining about this stoppage, and to be honest, I think it could have been allowed to continue for a few more seconds. But at the same time, in that situation, you know, you've you've been caught, you've been hurt, and you've got this guy Joe Joyce throwing uh, tons of punches, and you're not throwing back. He kind of gave a referee an excuse to stop this fight. So, was it a bad stoppage? Uh, 
I mean, it wasn't a great one, but at the same time, I've seen a lot worse. So, yeah, it was what it was in regards to the stoppage. But, you know, Joe Joyce had some problems early on in this fight. He was getting caught a lot by Carlos Takam, but ultimately he adjusted and he got the job done. He got the job done and he stopped Carlos Takam quicker than Povetkin and Anthony Joshua. I appreciate this is an older version of Takam, but nevertheless, a good little statement, I guess. And um, yeah, onwards and upwards for Joe Joyce. I have to say, I actually really enjoyed that fight. I felt Carlos Takam, you know, he wasn't going to go in there and lie down. I thought he would give Joe Joyce some problems early on, and that's what he did. But I never expected Joe Joyce to finish Carlos Takam so early. I thought he would stop him late on in this fight. So yeah, kudos to Joe Joyce for getting the mid-round stoppage. And like I say, it's onwards and upwards. And also shout out to Joe Joyce for the uh, ring walk and the um, the attire he was wearing. That, that was fucking hilarious. And also one more thing. Did you guys catch in between rounds? I forget which, uh, which round it was. I think it might have been after the third or fourth round. Joe Joyce was in, was in the corner and he was talking to uh, one of his corner men. And he said, is that, the bo is that the bottle with tap water? Or something along those lines. He, he was saying something about tap water in the water bottle, I just found that really, really strange, you know, kind of like, uh, oh, the one I mixed kind of thing, but maybe I'm just uh, looking into it a bit too much, but yeah, all in all, fun fight, you know, Joyce's defensive lapses were shown in this fight, the guy can get caught, and he does get caught flush, defensively he needs to improve, no doubt about it, and I still believe once he gets to top five level, he'll be found out, but you know, he's a big physical specimen, uh, great stamina, great gas tank, and if you can't get him out of there, this guy's going to be a problem, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it was for Joe Joyce we all know and expect really, kind of thing, so yeah, share your thoughts below, it's been your guy Delboy, peace.